I think after really digesting the Berserk series, people may think I'm crazy for doing this video, but I think Griffith had a real reason to be bitter and upset with Guts. So let me explain why. Griffith really trusted Guts with everything that he had, all the dirt and evil. No one in the Band of the Hawk ever saw that side of Griffith. Guts really made sure to keep it between them. So he trusted everything with Guts. And when you do that with somebody, when you show both sides and really show who you really are down to the core, it really makes you feel exposed and vulnerable because it's like, all right and when we do these types of things with people and we expose ourselves to people we care about and more be the people we are in partnership with or just people that only know the real you it makes people feel vulnerable and we don't want anybody to betray that because people can go around and make you look like a crazy person or make you look like an enemy and so that one thing was very alarming to griffith not only that, Griffith really did value Guts. Despite what people may think in the Berserk community, Griffith really did value Guts, much more so than most people in the Band of the Hawk. And I think Guts may have misunderstood his comments that day when he said, for me to call another man my friend, he must be equal to me in all respects. And I think with, when Guts heard that, in the state that he was in, in the fight or flight mode, I think he really misunderstood what Griffith was saying. He wasn't saying that directly to Guts. He was just saying that in general to Charlotte, stating that, listen, not everybody is on my level, but there's people who I have around me that I really do consider my equals, if not stronger than me. And sometimes, you know, I think where people go and jump to conclusions in general in human nature is that people take the words for face value and sometimes don't ask for more clarity. And so I think this is what happened that day. And that's kind of what send guts on this path of trajectory of not you know like oh griffith doesn't value me as a friend doesn't value me as a person so let me go ahead and just leave and you know i think a lot of people in the berserk community will view me kind of crazy for even saying that but i think there was a misunderstanding and there was a miscommunication guts left so abruptly and didn't even get a chance to talk to griffith and he just made this decision like i'm leaving and so griffith is thinking like why are you leaving and why are you leaving so soon like are you going to be competing against me like what is your real reason of leaving and so that's why it made him go into that state of mode like yo you belong to me dude like i gave you everything you wouldn't even have a purpose if it wasn't for me you wouldn't be as strong you wouldn't have like ink been exposed to all these different things if it wasn't for me so why are you leaving and so it just kind of left griffith in a state of puzzledness of what's going on when guts defeated griffith that day you have no idea what was going through this man's mind when guts defeated griffith in front of the main crew of the band of the hawk and saw and they saw him at his lowest point of confusion and just disarray and then guts just left and didn't turn around you know how that would make anyone feel like crap because your best friend supposedly who you trusted with everything a lot of things even your life has embarrassed you in front of your squad and you just that doesn't sit well with you and you wouldn't feel right about that so that was going through griffith's mind and it's like oh i cannot believe it did that but it also broke him he literally broke griffith griffith was in a state where most people don't even come out of which is a state of depression. He broke his soul, he broke his mind. He literally broke Griffith. Not only that, Guts costed Griffith everything. He lost his dreams, he lost his life. He became a weak man, a state um, no man should ever be in. He was a prisoner and was humiliated again in front of the main band of the hot squad minus one so basically everyone so this was a double burn to griffith i mean how would you feel if you got humiliated at twice in front of your squad and then on top of that the squad is seeing you as a weak man then guess what made it even worse he saw the person who did all this to him so guess what he literally wanted to kill him hence his hand was on his neck trying to choke him out but he was weak so it, it didn't do anything now the most important thing that i think a lot of folks don't realize is that guts 
was very influential to Griffith. Griffith was always calculating certain moves all around Guts's behavior and just Guts's strengths. So could he say, you know, could you say that he left a strong impression on Griffith? Yes, he left a strong impression on his mind, soul, and body, literally. When Guts defeated Griffith, he left a permanent mark on his right shoulder, and it was almost like daily reminder that Guts left his mark on his way out. Not only was that very crushing to Griffith, so much that he wept. He wept. Luckily, Charlotte was asleep, but he wept, and that sent him into a state of depression because he knew who he lost, and he was like, wow, I lost my best friend, and I don't know what to do, but we no man should ever have to go through a state of depression where somebody has literally crushed your dreams, has messed up your plans. It's a very, very lonely, depressing state to be in. And I don't think Guts realized what he did, cause and effect. All these things are strong human emotions that could cause anyone to be bitter and hateful and want absolute revenge at all costs. Griffith wanted to show Guts that you'll never ever be able to reach me or touch me ever again in any way possible. And I will make sure that I'm using your seed against you. But guess what? I'll still be able to crush you and destroy you in all aspects, just like you did to me, but I'll make it a hundred times worse and that is why Griffith is really bitter about guts because he did something that no one else has ever done and he was greater and stronger than Griffith and he left his mark as a reminder that I could have easily killed you but I spared you and now you will live with your own failure as a leader. Yo, if you like this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, y'all, and share this video as well. It's gonna help, you know, grow the channel as well. And be sure to also check out some of the new mangas and comics that we have released. Go to www.mastermycomics.net and definitely show your support. We got some new merch, we got some new equipment, we got some new stuff, and trust me, it's only gonna get better. And so stay tuned, we got more coming for you.